Hello and welcome to a game between Flash and Pretty Moon. Flash will be playing as the blue Terran player at the 6 o'clock position, and Pretty Moon will be playing as the red Zerg player at the 3 o'clock position. And we do see the cancel extractor. What that does is it allows the Zerg player to have a temporary plus 1 or 2 population, but of course if you do it with all of the gas on the map, you'll get a lot more drones and a lot more overpopulation if you wish, but there was only a one overpopulation. And if we take a look at the base of Flash, something very funky is happening. He is choosing to wall off at the bottom, and because these two players are so close on their spawn points, they will find each other pretty much right away, along with that mink statue, and it looks like Flash will be getting inside the base of Pretty Moon. I think this game, Pretty Moon should be putting down the spawning pool before the hatchery, as it would be really dangerous to put down the spawning pool at after the hatchery because the hatchery will be relatively undefended but it looks like he's probably gonna save up for the hatchery anyway as the hatchery is gonna go down around 15 population and I think he's also gonna be pulling out a drone off the line to make sure he does not get blocked in between this little choke over here if we take a look at the base we see one barracks inside one barracks outside a double barracks for Flash right now and Pretty Moon is patrolling the outskirts of his ramp to prevent him from putting down a bunker directly at his choke point and Flash will be escaping with that SCV as he's moving back to his base but we do see a couple of marines are going to be on the way as one marine is on the way a second one will be coming very very shortly there is absolutely no refinery at the moment I think this is going to be a very heavy mineral bill as that Orbital Command will allow you to have a lot more minerals than you can normally harvest with just your probes and SCVs. And some of these probes are going to come out because they sense danger and the SCVs are forced to fall back. One probe is a little bit out of position. They are going to try to kill off these SCVs. They are fighting the SCVs and now they're going for the Marines. This is a really tense moment for both players because this will pretty much dictate the rest of the game as whoever comes out on top here. Ooh, he kills off the Marine. Nicely played there by Pretty Moon. Some of the SCVs were not really doing too much as a lot of these drones are very very weak very close to death and the marine should have ran away if it had the chance to and wait for his buddies to reinforce we do see about three more marines reinforcing right now as he's non-stop making marines no refinery just a supply depot at the back the army says right now at 20 to 21 both are not supply block and we see the try trying of the bunker at the bottom of the ramp all these drones are coming off the line with these zerglings and i think he might be able to hold it off here and there's still one scv building in the back and these marines are going to get pushed back by these zerglings. Very, very nice play. They're pulling off all the drones, killing off these marines, and forcing that one last marine to retreat back to base. And this marine is also going to go down as well. And very, very nicely done by Flash. If we take a look at the vision of his opponent, he still does not see the second map, but he could probably assume it at this point as we do see a command. So there is going to be coming up. This wallen is not bailings proof, I think. Because normally you would have the wall on top and then you could put bunkers or additional buildings behind. But this is very, very risky. You could put your marines here and shoot and they can't really do too much to you. And we do see the double refinery is going to be happening now as Flash is making a significant change to his game. If we take a look at the income tab for both players, we see a huge advantage for Flash as those mules do help tremendously. Even both of them are on 15 gas. We do see three of those drones are going to be on gas at the moment. Ooh, Flash separating his troops a little bit here, and he's going to get surrounded by these Zerglings. Flash probably not going to be too happy with this as these Marines go down. Five Marines go down, and that's the bulk of his force. More Zerglings, more Marines on the way, and if someone could translate for that, I would love you for a life. And if we take a look at the army count right now, 31 to 24, a nice healthy lead for Pretty Moon. And a lot more Zerglings are spawning for Pretty Moon at the moment. That is a lot of Zerglings. I repeat, a lot of Zerglings. Six Marines versus 15 Zerglings. That is a lot of Zerglings. I don't know what else to say. He does have a second gas, but he's not working on it at the moment as he decided to switch. And I think Flash is in a really awkward position here because at the bottom of the ramp, it's really hard to repair this. If you guys can take a look, this is a really bad position. Only maybe two or three SCVs can repair these two buildings at any one time. Zerglings coming in, trying to maybe snipe all off the supply depot but does decide against it because he probably suspects that his opponent has some infantry on the ramp and infantry does come out I don't think this is the best idea as Pretty Moon is gonna fall back and Flash is gonna fall back at the same time as well I suppose if you're Flash and you're losing with Marines and Minerals get a lot of gas a lot of buildings really fast because 
what you did before was not working for you and this is a really really heavy switch he's stopping pretty much all production of marines because that has not really worked well for him and pretty moon has a lot of zerglings and these zerglings are ooh we just missed a lot of them turning into bailings oh pretty bailings pretty pretty balls of goo and they're bubbly and stuff that almost looks like dinner not in a good way. And Pretty Moon is probably thinking about making a pusher as the Mirabal boost for those Zerglings has finished. They have gotten wings and a lot more bailings are going to come in here as the Terran player is going to try to make a push for it outside of his base and he has to fall back. He really wants to put up this ramp but he can't because he was going outside. These bailings are up the ramp and look at how much green stuff there is on the ramp and there's green with splatters of blood. Green and red. That is what the Zerg player really likes to see. Pretty Moon is in a heavy advantage in here. He's going to come in here. There's a lot of SCVs to be had. And he lost. Oh, man. That was... Oh, that was awesome. That was awesome. This one Zergling has three SCV kills. He killed off, I think, about 50% of the SCVs. Wow. <laughs> She's going to be really happy with that one. And I am giggling and I do apologize. And those Zerglings are coming in for Pretty Moon. And Pretty Moon is going to be making more and more Zerglings. 20 more Zerglings on the way. All of them has just popped. And they're going to be running across the map trying to get inside. And Flash does have a lot of very, very hurt unit. Army size right now, 39, 225. A huge advantage for Pretty Moon as he does also have the income advantage. He has about 20, 30, no, 200, 300 more income than his opponent, and that's a lot of bailings. I don't think he needs that many bailings, but he really wants to make sure his opponent is going to die. And the Zerglings are going to come in here and hit the tech lab. And the bailings are busting the supply depots once again. He is busted. These bailings are going to come in here, maybe once again, on these SCVs and these... Oh man, that is a lot of kills. And there's two more bailings, and he's going to get everything except for one SCV. <laughs> Flash is going to lift all his buildings. Oh man, that was great. That was so great. If some of you could translate for the Korean stuff in the game, I would put it up at the description and I will give you credit for it. So if you know what it means and are not trolling me, please do so as Flash is getting his stuff picked away and he might not be in the game as his current APM is zero. Oh man. I guess this is one of those rage games, I suppose. Not really doing too much, as I believe some of the Zerglings are still pouring in. He has absolutely no population, and... Ooh, if you guys are ever gonna eat sushi, no matter how big of a man, woman, or child you think you are, do not, I repeat, do not ever, ever put a spoonful of wasabi in your mouth for any amount of money, because that is not gonna end well for you, and these buildings are still floating around. And... <laughs> Pretty Moon is scanning the bases to see if his opponent has expanded. So he does have one Zergling patrolling. All the other Zerglings are vastly spread out to all the bases. And we speed up the replay just a little bit as the Spire is going to go down. There is going to be one Queen running across the map. And I think Flash is... <laughs> gone flash has left the building his APM is slowly falling as he's not really in the game and a couple of meters are gonna come over here and finish up flash this is not a great way to finish the game but I hope you guys enjoy that this is GG face I'll see you guys at the next game